Okay, uh, we're going to add some camera angles to our project. We're also going to work with the uh, borders uh, so our person can't go outside. And uh, I'm also going to talk about the Z order in more detail from where I left off last time. So let's open up last time's project. Notice I'm using the online version. And what I like about the online version is that anyone can do it. It doesn't matter what computer you're using. Um, so let's go open a project. I can open it from Google Drive. But again, uh, if you've started to do this, uh, feel free to download it uh, so you can get the additional features of the actual app. But let's start with um, uh, where we left off and I'll open the project. Great, there it is. And to uh, show the Z order, what I'm going to do first off is I'm going to add a little uh, bush. So let me go add a new uh, sprite and I'll call this shrub. And I'm gonna add an animation. I'm gonna select and unfortunately I can only select because this is the online version, but coming soon, uh, you'll be able to use Piscal and, and uh, Google Drive. Uh, but for now, we're, we're stuck with this and, and that's just fine. So here's my bush um, and that is great. Okay, so um, let me press okay. And there you have it. So I can put my shrub and my shrub really is going to do nothing. It's just for decoration, um, but it's also going to be a purpose. So I can show you how we can run in front of it or behind it. So if I put the shrub and I'm going to put it on the screen here, um, what once I place it anywhere, um, what I can do, I can select it and I can see the properties of it, the X and Y position, um, and also something called the Z order. So you'll notice the Z order is just a value. In this case, its value is eight. And how it works is the higher the number, the higher the layer is, which means uh, it's on top of things. So if I click on my person, you'll notice my person is order one. Um, and so when the person goes behind the ladder, the ladder is order six, so it's six layers higher. So the person will be behind the ladder. Let me just press play and demonstrate what I mean. Um, you're gonna see in this example here that when I come to the ladder, I'm going to be behind the ladder. And so the person, the layer, and that's because the person is one, the ladder is six. So six is six layers on top. Same with the bush is eight layers. And in fact, I should have put a bush on top of the ladder. You'd see if I put the bush by the ladder, the bush actually would be um, in front of the ladder. So it would, it would uh, sort of hide a bit there. So let me change the Z order of the bush, for example, and I'm just gonna click on the bush and then the properties over here on the right. And I'm gonna change the Z order to, uh, let's say um, zero, or rather, let me put this as uh, two, and I'm gonna change the Z order of the player um to being a um a little bit higher let's say player is going to be three so it's the third highest layer uh and that's going to be higher than a two so it's going to be in front of the player but it's going to be behind the ladder which is six okay so let's do that um and also what i can do here is let's copy the shrub and although I don't want another shrub uh, necessarily here I'll, uh, to, for demonstration purposes, uh, I'll put the shrub right here and you'll see the ladder is in front of the shrub. So watch what happens. And if I press play, the player which has three is higher than the shrub, which is two and higher than the um, other one, which is one. And so you'll see, I now go in front of the shrub and over here, I go behind the ladder, but in front of the shrub. And so that's how the Z order works. And what we can do is remember, I was originally talking about making um, this so you couldn't see 
the side border. So I didn't want them to go off, but I didn't want any graphics. I wanted just to look like the game stops there. And we have to, of course, be moving this way for our adventure to take place. So let me um, stop the game right here. And um, I'm gonna show you how we can do that. So I'm gonna add a background now. And unfortunately, the online version, I didn't notice a background. Maybe I'm blind, uh, but I didn't see a background, but I'm going to add a background. So I'm gonna add a sprite uh, and I'm gonna call it background. And I really didn't see any um, backgrounds, which is awfully odd uh, on here. So maybe I just haven't quite figured it out yet, but I'm gonna go, uh, oh, actually, let me just double check here. Uh, a new object. Um, actually, cancel. Let me just try this out, uh, going in a little uncharted territory here, but what I want to do is I want to add a new object. And this time, I'm going to see, is there a background? Because it's odd that there's no background on here. Yeah, no, there's not. There's uh, text, painter. Uh, I find it odd that there's no background. So, okay. Uh, and I will correct myself if I'm wrong. But uh, at, at at uh, present, it doesn't look like I, I can see a background. So I'm just going to go create or, sorry, select an image. And I'm going to choose from the library. And if I look on here, there was no um, solid color background. There's brick wall. There's uh, castle center is about the closest I see to a background, uh, which is odd because there really should be a background. Yeah, I didn't see one in here. So the closest I can have is kind of a, a gray. Uh, it's not the greatest, but I'm going to call this the background anyhow. And I'm going to go apply. So you think, well, why would you put a small box here? Well, what I'm going to do to trick it into being a background is I'm going to make the Z order uh, zero. So it's pretty far behind just about everything in uh, the screen. And then I, of course, I'm going to make it super large. So uh, here you go. Oops, I got the wrong thing. So sorry, I'll delete that. So let me uh, add the background on here. And I'll start by putting it in the top corner. And then I'm just going to tile it. There you go. And I'll make it really big. So there you go. And then I'll tell it, so right now it's Z order is eight. So it's on top of everything. But if I make the uh, order uh, zero, I'm going to say zero is where the background is. And so now my screen has a background, this little checkerboard pattern. And again, I haven't figured out a way to do a solid color. Um, of course, you could do that if you had the uh, downloaded version, but here we're just limited. We can't add any Pisco drawings or we can't add anything from Google Drive just yet. So the graphics I have to use, unfortunately, are the ones that are built into the game, which are uh, quite limited, but that's fine. Um, so now that I've got a background, uh, let me, um, and you hopefully understand the uh, idea of um, the Z order. Let me show you how I can take the ground here, which I put, and notice the Z is five of the ground. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the ground a negative one. So it's actually going to be behind the background. And so now you'll see the objects exist here. So my player wouldn't be able to go to the right. Um, the player would be stuck. Uh, we've got a whole wall here of, um, of this. And so um, if I was to hit it, of course, you just hit it and you would bounce and you wouldn't be able to go any farther to the left. Um, and so this is sort of a uh, great way that we can make something invisible. It's behind the background. So it still exists, but it's behind the background. Okay, uh, last thing I wanted to show you, and then hopefully you can uh, carry on with... Um, you know, making your game, um, adding tons of uh, ground and, and places to go. Uh, let me just stick some more ground here. 
and you can you know start adding to your layer of where you want it to go and i'll stick some ground here and then i might even uh, stick some more ground down over here and uh we're soon going to have an adventure that we're going to explore so i'll just leave this for now um and you can see it's outside of my original view <coughs> so the next thing i want to do is talk about a camera and how i can do um do some of that so i'm going to go to the game events here and you'll notice i've got one two three you know five or so things one of the things we want to do in programming is we like to group things together and so what I'm going to do is if I click on the big circle with a plus sign, I can add an event called a group. And this is really just going to be to help visualize um, what actions and events are taking place. So I'm going to click group here and I'm going to call this group movement because this these are all the codes for movement. So now I've got a group called movement. I'm going to put it up the front. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click over here to the left and I just drag it one notch over and that's going to tell it to be in this group called movement. So all these are movement codes. And so I'm going to have my set of movements here. And then what I can do is I can click on this little um, triangle and collapse it. And so now I've got all the codes are in movement. And if I collapse movement, um, like so, uh, I don't have to see everything. And this will be useful when our games get quite uh, full with codes. Okay, so I'm going to make another group, and I'm going to call this uh, next group uh, camera. I'm going to click here and call this one camera. And so these are just um, for visual um, organization. So it just helps us to keep us organized. So I've got my camera um group of events and then i'm going to click in here to add a camera event now one of the things that happens in our game is our game every uh 60 times 60 frames per second is going to check for actions and normally we would put an event in here but if we don't put an event it means uh, it's like the step event in game maker it just means as the game's running do this okay so what is it going to do it's going to do some camera work so uh, fortunately, I can search for camera, oops, and I can click uh, center the camera on an object. Great. So I'm going to click on center the camera, and I want it to follow the player. Um, and we'll say yes, and I'll say OK. And it's as easy as that. So now I, I can... Uh, um, I've got my camera event, and I can... Um, just do that. So let's go back to our uh, game here and uh, test it out. So we've got our player, we've got the different uh, objects on it. And now I'm going to go for a little bit of adventure. I can start expanding my room and expanding things. And I'm going to use the zoom here, probably to zoom out to five or 10 or 20% as I start developing my game to sort of move around as you do that. But let's just leave it as default here, hit play. And what we're going to do is we're going to um, play our game and go on a little adventure. So there it is. Oh, shoot. I need to make the background a little bit larger here. You can see uh, part of the uh, things that are above it. But again, you can see that as I go over the bush um, and I go here to the right, I can't go any farther right. So it, it, it says, OK, you can't go farther right. So I must have to look uh, to the left. And of course, that's true. I keep going on my adventure to the left. Um, and so there we have it. So what I want you to do is um, think about adding the camera, the movement, adding some different objects, adding a background. Let me fix the background here on mine. I got to move my little picture out of the way. And there you go. Now we won't see that. And in fact, what I should probably do is uh yeah that'll be good so uh, i should really make it a lot larger but that'll be it for now so really the last thing to do of course is we need to save and so i'm just going to save it in my uh, google drive so i can carry on with the next lesson
Super. Thanks for watching. And, um, you know, again, one of the great things about this, it's, it's not Game Maker, um, but it's still a lot of things we can do. Uh, everyone can do it. Doesn't matter what the operating system, we can do it online, which is terrific. Um, and we're going to learn some good programming. So keep it up and, and stay tuned for the next video.